Hey everyone, I wanted to just a quick video on uh, a, a, an old technique I've shown multiple times, but I figured uh, sometimes just a particular application is nice to show it again. So um, on this uh, video, it, this is a denture that we used our uh, CareStream CS3600 to scan uh, to duplicate. Uh, if you look, you can see where his midline probably really should be, where his freedom would be, and you can see the, dent the teeth are off to the side. And in fact, when he, he got this denture done a couple years ago, um, when he when he inserts it, um, it slides the whole thing to the to his right this direction, um, and uh, that's because where his teeth need to be, but his uh, tissue wanted to be over here to the left. So uh, we're gonna do a little bit of work with this, um, but uh, there's a couple different things I've I've considered doing. One is basically just sectioning out the palatal, and then the uh, sliding it over and just remending it and uh, printing it and seeing how we got, and then kind of. Uh, adjusting from there and I still might do that um, just as a kind of a trial but for now I want to show you that when we scan this denture we got it I mean, it was really easy to scan the uh, intaglio the teeth everything out but for whatever reason we had difficulty with the um, palate and you know sometimes that happens some dentures just don't scan that well um, again the important areas teeth intaglio easy um, but right back here. So, and rather than wasting time trying to figure it out or redoing our new scan, which we only tried one scan, maybe just scanning starting over might have worked. Uh, no real need there because this isn't really important information, um, and we can kind of modify it to our liking. Um, so, to do that, uh, I'm going to use the bridge tool. I use that a lot. Um, first, I'm going to hit the select button. I usually just hit the shortcut S button, and I'm going to select right back here, and right back here, and I'm going to try to make an a union between these two pieces. To do that, I'm going to, I just hit Control B, but I believe it's, yeah, it's under Edit, Bridge, Control B, and here it is. Okay, so it's going to create this, 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 uh, well, this bridge. I'm going to hit Accept. Now, one thing I don't like is that it is sort of um, too far down. Uh, I can adjust that later, but I'm going to adjust it now. Um, to do that, I'm going to hit Escape so that it's by itself. I'm going to use the Select button again, and I'm just going to select right in the middle here. And now I'm going to hit Shift T, which is the same thing as uh, Deform Soft Transform. Now, if you see what happens, is that let's there is the middle part that is straight, that is where I first selected it, and these areas are called the fall off. But if I adjust the fall off it's just about to the point where the bridge started it's more of a fluid transition in fact I'm gonna change this for a second I'm gonna make my selection area even smaller right there in the middle shift T and I'm just gonna dial this fall up fall off until it's right around there and now kind of bend this up to where I like it now, this doesn't have to be perfect we all know this but um, get it closer so it's sort of a uniform thickness of, the, of this denture base or uh, palette and when I'm good I hit accept so now I can come in here and I can go to analysis go to inspector and click this right here and I forgot I left it as flat that was a mistake I gotta wait for it to load um, it was probably fine I could smooth that out but in fact, I'm just going to hit Control Z, Inspector, change it to Smooth Fill, and now click this. Um, I don't often hit the Repair All, just because I like to see uh, what's being repaired, what the result is, and if I need to change it. Yeah, I, I like that. That looks really good. And now I'll repair this one. This one could be a little bit different. I might not like this, so I'm going to go ahead and try it and see what it looks like. But um, Actually, you know what? I think that's just fine. I can smooth this off. If I didn't like it, I could bridge here, bridge here, a couple more bridges. That way I can break it into smaller repairs. Um, that can be pretty helpful. But honestly, this looks pretty good. So I'm going to come over to the Sculpt tool, go to the Brushes. I like the Robust Smooth, and I'm just going to smooth this down. Now the strength needs to be dialed up. This doesn't have to be perfect, as this this is really just going to be a um, essentially a custom tray um, for a you know, new denture. So we're not trying to uh, make this perfect. And make I'm gonna turn off the volumetric because that can sometimes cause the underside to get smooth. I don't want to do that. All right, 
control A to highlight the whole thing. I'm going to, um, where is it? Yeah, clear face group, um, which I just hit control shift G normally. But now you can kind of see the whole thing. So there you go. There's a, a new repaired denture ready for printing. Uh, make sure there's no other holes. Oh, it's got one little bleb here. And we're good. All right, that's about it. Hope that helps.